Hey, have you seen this? Oh, yeah. Sarah's giving him a bunch of fucking sales. Unbelievable. They've got a lot of history, them two. Loyalty's a good thing, I suppose. Mm, that depends. Todd always lands on his feet. Between us, I prefer Jason. You right, guys? Is there a problem? I was just telling Paula you've taken Todd on. He's not best pleased. All oh, right, I didn't realise I had to run my decisions past you. It's not a crime to hate someone's guts. Oh, mate, is it that bad? <sighs> he's pond life. Well, he's also my new sales executive, so I'd really prefer it if he didn't let your personal issues affect your work, OK? Sarah, um, sorry to interrupt. Um, Mark from Kinlocks wants a word. I need to take this. Do you, uh, do you want to ask me if I've got any news? Billy, what's the news? Oh, well, thank you for asking. Only that I might have a new post by the end of today. The bishop's been on, finally. Mm. When was the interview? Uh, a fortnight ago. You've got no chance. Unless everyone they offered it to turned it down. Sorry, but a fortnight, though. Come on. Yeah, but he, he says he wants to give me his decision in person. He's coming round to the flat later. I take it that you think that's a bad sign he wants to tell me in person. Sounds close, but no cigar. I did wonder. You're a valued shepherd of the flock, etc., etc. But the job has been given to some loser with less experience and better interview patter. Does sound horribly plausible. Maybe, but you've got to keep the faith. Reverend. Thanks. Should warn Paul and be a bishop on the couch. Look, um, I don't like bad feeling among my team. It won't be an issue. Unless he makes it one. He won't. But can you not call him Pond Life or any other name, please? Look, I'm here to earn a living, that's all. Good. Well, maybe you and Todd can put whatever it is behind you. You're gonna give him a talking to and all? Maybe. Look. We're all going to go for a curry after work and Underworld's going to pick up the tab. What? Well, look, I could do without you, if I'm honest, but I think it'll be good for morale, you know, bond the team. Oh, you're going to make me eat with him and all? Well, you know, you might have more in common with him than you think. Yeah, both breathe oxygen, both live in Weatherfield, both ate each other's guts. Both partial to a vicar. Look, I told Billy I'd do a big shop anyway, oh, so... Well, then do it afterwards. Come on, I need team players. Sarah's at the table, booked for half six. Coolio, I promised Beth a doggy bag. Is she babysitting Daniel Sprog? I hope she's charging him. Well, Bert's is the apple of her eye. Great, she should still be charging him. Ten pound an hour, it's market forces. It's family. It's pretty decent of management to stump up, eh? I suppose, but I'm not mad on Curry, eh? There'll be a laugh. And plus, we're supporting a local business. What he means is, you're coming. Sarah wants us all to get on. OK, count me in. Sound. Don't look a gift curry in the mouth. Yeah, see, that don't work. Gift horse, gift curry. Totally works. It's called riffing. Whatever you say, and no elbows on tables, Neanderthals. Tell you what, I'd rather have the 20 quid bonus in cash. Oh, me too. Guys, guys, what are we building? Oh, no, again. What are we building? A, A team. team! When are we building it? Now! What are we building? A, A team. team! When are we building it? Now! What are we building? A team! When are we building it? Now! Come on, Paul, what are we building? A team. And when are we building it? Now.